Embrace the strange. Today's illusion is lurch. Again, I say it so much, but I tweaked the head of the concept sketch and I kept the body the same. Unlike before, normally it's the legs I tweak and the face that I leave alone or isn't even there. I like the snake lizard vibe of it more. It makes the figure more alive than the former head did. Creepy, crawling forward, the figure is bent, seeming to pour itself out and further forward. There are four red eyes. The two red orbs slash beads in the spine could be mistaken for eyes as well, putting it to a count of six. One arm reaches out, back probing the spine of the eyes, while the other is twitching beside the face as the head smiles. Bearing its teeth, the spilled contents also resemble a tongue. But it's more just like externalizing internal things, the vulnerable things. It's just to me like transforming passion, making it real, a tangible sort of thing. Sort of, um, Etta James, a dream I could speak to. I don't really think of that a lot. The, strange enough, uh, the strangeness of this is my respect to reptiles cold-blooded things i don't really fuck with them they don't really fuck with me so we don't really have any problems yet i am fascinated by them you know snakes are powerful they don't have limbs lizards i've learned can't be held upside down or they can't breathe something of like their organ collapses i'm gonna say it's like their diaphragm or something i don't know if that's right but like they can't breathe they deflate those little dragons and newts are also kind of cute. No frogs, though. They're, they're creepy, like, slimy-looking to me. But no, no judgment if you think frogs are cute. Anyway, if you take anything away from this, <laughs> it is art, truly art, and art goes on. So I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.